I'm Frankie. I'm Eric. I'm Loraya. I'm Iggs. Marcus. We're Hassler, and you're watching D Rock Kingdom from Chicago. Alright, one, two, three, go! Awesome. I have to think this is okay if I squeeze in the middle. Sure. Just see my frame. I think I got room in the middle. That's about it, right? Okay. What, what's on? I got, I got a foot on either side. <laughs> Oh, All right, ladies and gentlemen, so you know who I am. You're on the D-Rock Kingdom, and before we get going here with the big show from Hessler, uh, I'm here, right here on location for their new video. And, who will you uh, run to? Who will you run to? Uh, on set right now, actually shooting right behind us. Just released comes with the territory. Released just this week, December of 2012. Getting ready to hit the Southwest for a big tour. And as you get to see this, uh, hopefully, I just wanted to give them a couple more shots up here. We got the beautiful Lariah and Iggs and Eric and Marcus and Frankie. All beautiful, actually. And Frankie. And Danny. <laughs> and me as well. So. <laughs> Let me just step back here so everybody can kind of squeeze into this shot. Once again, welcome Hessler to the D-Rock Kingdom. Now guys, you got Comes With the Territory, just came out this week. And uh, what, what, what's going on with the new record? Just got released. Awesome artwork, by the way, on the front. Got a couple of singles coming out. You're shooting a couple of videos. You're on tour for the Southwest. I got to tell you, over the last year, I've seen you guys grow. And uh, the passion and the drive that this band has, it is something that you're going to hear about for years to come. They're going to be selling out stadiums and arenas here in another year or two. Uh, so it's something to keep an eye out for. Iggs, I know you've got lots to say about the new record. So I just want to give you a couple minutes and let you do your thing, man. First thing is, it, I, it's a team effort on this one because we have a full band. We've been together for over a year. What, over a year now? Yeah, yeah awesome. A solid lineup. So this is Hessler. This is the definitive Hessler, and we're proud as shit to be doing everything together right now. Our first uh, right on, guys. US tour, first full-length record, filming Who Will You Run To Today, got another big budget concept video coming in December. Nice, nice. And um, anything else that I forgot? Just, it's just all we're going so becoming that Hesser that he always wanted to be. Right. I'll, I'll make a, actually, a really good point uh, that the Raya just talked about. I've been filming these guys all year for 2012. Literally started filming them in January and I filmed them throughout the year and it has been a beautiful passionate thing that all these guys have come together. Like one of the show. butterflies coming out. It is literally <laughs> out of the cocoon these guys have blossomed and the transcendence and the, the thing that these guys are doing is really an amazing thing. There's a resurgence of the 80s rock scene and stuff but these guys will definitely be in front of that. Uh, just power chords, great you know, good old time rock and roll that uh, it's going to stay with you. The new record just blows doors. I think uh, really what the big question is for 2013, what's the big plans? Are you guys just Europe. on tour? Europe is the big plan for yeah, 2013. Yeah, for summer, for summer 2013. Nice. Continue touring across the U.S. Yeah, we're going to hit the East Coast and Canada in what, March, and March April? and April. Awesome. And then uh, once, uh, well, we just got to get a couple of people. Passports. <laughs> Once we got those, then we can, awesome. then we can get Canada. Awesome. 
and uh, hopefully we hit uh, Europe by July, August. June, yeah, July, August. And then the best thing is um, two good friends of ours that have a film company called El Hinete Films. That's right. We're filming a big uh, documentary on the band. That's right. That uh, just had a Kickstarter that was fully funded. Seven Gs. Yeah, that's right. If funded two times over. Double times over. The goal was three, three Gs, and nice. the fans went ballistic and dropped se or put in seven. So now uh, that'll probably be released in the spring because it's going to document the tour awesome. here. So look out for that. I think we were going to talk about that later in the show or this show as well. You know about Billy on it and Marina. Yeah. yeah. And um, I think that'll give us a little bit more of a lift of turbo to get to Europe. So that's the next thing. Once the passports are confirmed, everything else should be smooth sailing. So come for the territory. Available now on iTunes at HesslerChicago.com for autograph copies. Yeah, and for autograph copies as well. You get a hold of these guys. You can see them on the road. And I'm telling you, keep an eye on these guys. I have no doubt that they will be on tour infinitely throughout the year. And more to come from that as well. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. This is Hessler. And you are watching the D-Rock Kingdom, guys. Thank you so much. <laughs> Look, it's a rock and roll band. I thought we were a country band. I thought we were playing bluegrass. Can you, can you dance for me right now? Can you have to put the right. Someone give me a beat, man. Hey everybody, it's D. I am uh, just getting ready to go pick up Iggs Kincaid from Hessler. We're gonna go uh, up to Great America and experience the X Flight, brand new roller coaster being released, unlike anything else in the world. And uh, we're gonna go check out Iggs and pick him up. So tonight we're gonna hang with Iggs for a little bit. Cool. Cool. Going to. Get the shit scared out of me. Oh, oh yeah, I heard about uh, Great America. Yeah. The new ride. Uh, the old loft. My old home. Oh, you live back up here? Yeah. Oh, love stairs. A true pad. <laughs> Seriously. What's up, It's the way they all should be. What's up, Beef Tron? Good to see Beef you. Beef Tron? Dude, nice Seriously? shirt. Seriously? Nice shirt, man. Wouldn't it be weird if we get there, like, because well, we're going to get there early at 4, wouldn't it be cool if there's only, like, 20 other people there? Yeah. <laughs> have, have a seat. Just cool. Keep a little quiet. Huh? And I was thinking Do you like first, roller coasters? Yeah, no, I'm down. You know, I don't get to go as often. Yeah, we used to live across the street, and I'd have, like, the season pass or whatever. Yeah. And just go cool. all the fucking time. And even when we didn't, we used to send one guy in. We'd all pitch in for one ticket. He'd get the, the oh, yeah. glow in the dark. He'd come on, press it against the next guy. He goes in, comes out. I'm getting nice. five, six people. I don't know if you can see that. You can't, but the wheelchair chairs, just hilarious. Uh, is it from the Alice Cooper tour? What? I don't know if it's from, no, it's from the from tour, from, from when they did a Halloween show or something. Oh, yeah. No, that was, a, that was a most popular show. ride. That was not human show. of any female that enters this place. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the D-Rock Kingdom. My name is D-Kane. Thank you for joining us. I have the wonderful, most fantastic, amazing new band, Hessler, right here from Chicago. Guys, how you doing? Just did a show, just played a show here in Kenosha. That's where we are in Kenosha, Wisconsin, London, England. Mm -hmm. And, uh, <laughs> Scream for me, Wendley. We have, uh, starting right here with my left, we have Marcus. 
and Mr. Ix Kincaid, the Hello. beautiful Lariah, We've got Eric, and uh, Frankie. <laughs> Frankie Snakes over there on the end. Mr. Guitar Ripper, Thanks. once again, thank you guys so much. You guys just had a great show. Thank you very really much. appreciate you taking the time appreciate to come and talk to me right now. We're just getting things started. And um, let's just go ahead and, uh, you know, I, I know a little bit about you guys for like the last year or so. Uh, you guys have kind of really been up and coming, got a lot of momentum, full steam ahead type of go, go, attitude go. and excitement. That's express. Um, you guys are like an, away. an ethnic soup bowl. Two, you're uh, where you're everybody's a, from. You're the first person. Keep going. Keep going. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. Do you want to talk about I'm that? Because I, <laughs> I was going to say. Uh, smell. How do we feel? <laughs> smell terrible. <laughs> All right. Let's let's not not how do we that. sound? That's 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 since you guys are, are so spread out, like across the world, when you guys came together in America, how did you guys all come together? Prophecy. You know, prophecy? <laughs> it was an Nostradamus thing? Yeah. yeah. We, were, we, were, we, were we were in prison together. We were in prison together, and so it was just, uh, we all yeah, no, have in the same seriously, cell. Seriously, because you know? I, know, I know that you are you're Polish. Polish. Yes. Didn't want to make a mistake. I'm from and you're Serbian or something? I'm 50% or Bosnian. 50% Bosnian, Bosnian. Serbian, but I'm Bosnian. German, Irish. All right, but... Did you know? Was everybody born in America? Not or? me. Yeah. No. I so that's that's one of my main questions. How did you guys all come together in Chicago to form this band? Um. Well, I guess <laughs> who knows who or who is sleeping with who or who knew yeah, yeah, yeah. well, that, That's a right question. Certain, 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 certain things. Sometimes when Marcus puts out, that's about you know. I'm not a cheap day. Just kidding. Yeah. You got to wine and dine. Them Marcus all. was the slave bought in Russia, brought yeah. over to America, and saved Germany. by the Queen. Is that yeah. what you're saying? Exactly. It's like that's really complicated. Uh, All right. Well, we can move on. It's, it's, good. Really it's cool to see that you guys are really from across the world and across the globe, and you guys kind of came together. It was just together. supposed to happen. And everybody has awesome. a different influence, you know. So everybody brings something to the table, and that's probably how how we made Hassler. Nice. Hey, as it is. Really yeah. cool that it all came together in Chicago. Oh, the greatest yeah. Greatest city in, America, city in the in America, world. Too. Windy now, city number one. Now, when you guys did get together, because uh, there was a couple of different members every now and then, too, right? Yeah, as not, as yeah. you started the Before, band a long time ago, you used to have a guy singer, people, right? People can't, yeah, I sang for a bit, but, you know, it didn't matter. None of that could take it to a level where Ken, with her vocals, with his drumming, with me and him on guitars, and with Eric on bass. That actually kind of answers my question. How did you know that this was the perfect uh, lineup? There's nobody... I know you're I've played, on the back well, I've played too. with a ton of different guitar players. There's nobody that I click with like I do with him. It just it's natural chemistry. It's like a girl you go out and you go on a one date with you. You're like wow, I feel like I've known her my entire and life. Except he's a dude. And Except from, he's and a from dude. what we can tell, but he loves everyone else seems same. to recognize that we have something special as well. And yeah, any crowd, put us in front of any crowd, and they'll be able to recognize that we have something special. I or, really well, have to agree with that, man. You guys really have a great chemistry. On if stage. we jam, uh, we'll sometimes be playing at Guitar Center. People come up to us and ask, like, "Hey, man, how long you guys been, you know, playing together?" We just laugh. Well, it's like we're brothers, but I'm supposed to be with him. I saw him playing, and I, when I saw, I was like, "Holy shit!" He like went into the solo, and he like he takes his shirt off, and he goes in this huge solo, and he runs all the way around the kit. Did you put it on your and, head? Hold on, no, he didn't put it on his head. And then he stands up on top of the throne, more big Conan the Barbarian fans, and his hair is all down in his face, I got and it. he just like snorts like a bull, and then he flips <laughs> his hair up like this, comes down, and boom, ends the fucking. I'm like, I have to have that guy in my band. I want to play with him. So of course, afterwards, he approached me all Iggs mode, you know. Hey man, what's going on? Like, like, so the same like, he's, he's like, he's like, fuck this jag. Like, who's this yeah. weirdo? I'm not gonna play for his Excuse band. So I sit around for a week with his business card, you know. Finally, call him up. Yeah, turns out a huge hey, wrestling man. fan. Business we get along great. great. Gotta, gotta, right. gotta have business cards yeah. nowadays, man. Yeah. All right, so would well, you well, like a business card? I I haven't gotten a business card yet. I definitely would need that. Yeah. I think I, yeah, I'm in line to get one of those. Uh, so you guys just put out this, uh, not really just put out this new record, but you have a lot of new material. Come, you, we got a lot of new stuff that we played tonight for the first time. One new song, we have about, uh, I'd say, ten songs that are full, uh, seven songs that are show ready, seven, ten songs that are completed, and about thirteen full ones that are... That's the idea has yeah. gotten past oh. a point. So they're ready. It's just we don't want to go into the studio until we've tested them out live. 
to make sure certain aspects of them really right. work. So as you guys are writing music, you know, you're sitting down, you're in the practice room, you're in the practice room, how's the writing process done? Now, um, do, you, do you write a riff? Do you write some lyrics? Is it all eggs? No, <laughs> no I not it's not anymore. Not anymore. The first have your own components? I mean, how does that, how's that writing process come up for Can you Can I start it and then you Go finish ahead, it? Yeah. Um, well, with the, the first one I already yeah, had. Let, let I, somebody else chime in every once in a yeah, while. Yeah, you know? no, I'll let them talk. I just wanted <laughs> to ahead, take the Ace. first one so it said properly. Yeah. With that first CD, all the songs were already, I had them written. So as opposed to sitting down, I just wanted to get us forward where we'd be playing shows and growing how right, we've been. Right. So I'm like, look, we can sit down and it takes a long time to write stuff that works. I mean, you could go and knock out Cherry Pie and be a bajillionaire, right. but the chances of that happening are probably slim to none. Bobby Brown right there. Yeah, Bobby Brown, <laughs> <laughs> Cherry Pie girl. <laughs> Hold on, just I know about it. Right. Can Bobby Brown sing? Can Bobby Brown we sing? we recorded. We did songs that I, that I already had written, and the point was just to have uh, all. Bad Blood is almost in a way a glorified demo of this band because what we've got coming is going to kick its teeth down its throat. Yeah, you guys have so much going on. All those songs, all those songs were done. Now the new stuff we're working on. Uh, them. It's not fun for me to play what I've written. I guess because I don't get to see it. I've already seen it being created. If somebody brings an idea forward now, and I'm finally being like, oh, okay, I trust these guys, so I can be like, hey, Frank, oh, I guess we can use your idea. So people are writing but, songs, and it's not just me, it's you're wonderful. You're listening to the idea. So, okay, so sometimes we are just sitting on the couch at the practice, after the practice, and, like, and they're just they're just playing, they're just jamming. They're playing riffs. And, and Eggs goes, dude, repeat that again. And Frank was like, what, this? Yeah. And that's how it starts, you know? Then Marcus, for example, starts with a beat and I have an idea, oh my gosh, this sounds like this, so let's put the lyrics together like this. And you know, so everybody Sometimes I really kind of, it starts to build, so that's, a, that's a good answer. Yeah. You know. What, what often times <laughs> happens is one person has an idea and they play and then, whoa, I've got, what a coincidence, I have this idea that seems like a yeah. pretty natural and progression from that idea funny. and then we all even critique and comes improve each other's ideas. Even though everybody comes from like a different walk of life, the stuff we put forward just naturally gels. Yeah. That's what you need for a band. You just have to have shows and we're jamming. Yeah. And we're you like, guys have all the chemistry and like you were saying, song. as you guys are sitting down, you kind of be able to layer yeah. together and not everybody can do that. You know, when you get a band in the same room and you know, hopefully that that <laughs> hopefully that uh, hopefully that uh, gives you guys some longevity. Yeah, I, I wish you the best. And roller coasters. And what time is it? It's Ten of three, four. Three fifty four a.m. <laughs> yeah. yeah, let's go fucking ride a roller coaster. Or I guess we just park wherever. Yeah. Awesome, we're here. Take, you want to take this? Cool. Whatever you prefer. All right. Take one. Let's, let's right on. Let's, let's do this. So we're like the only ones here. Yeah. Opens May 16, right? So we get to ride VIP for free. It's not a lot of people. So me and Eggs are uh, heading to the uh, the new roller coaster ride, oh, X Flight. Here, man. And You're there is nobody. Yeah, it is just us with nobody here. Anybody got seven dollars so I can get a Coca Cola? <laughs> Dude, this is cool. Thanks. Yeah. What's this ride called? X Flight? X Flight. X. Used to be a really cool show on back in the uh, late 70s, early 80s called Night Flight. Night Flight? There's and it was like a combination. That's when, if you remember what you've heard of, I'm sure, is Hip Parader. Yes, I have. Hip Parader Heavy Metal Heroes used to be a segment on that show called Night Flight. A little bit of a trivia for you there. I can't believe I'm even remembering that. Hip Parader Heavy Metal Heroes on Night Flight back in the early 80s and that was actually kind of a cool place where you could always get the good videos because MTV sometimes mixed it up with Dire Straits and Flock of Seagulls and... I wonder if I'll lose my boot on the ride. Don't lose your boot. I'm at the cross my feet. I'm sure, it'll, I'm sure they got a net. It's little perks like this in life that, that really uh, cheer you up, right? It's the moon shining.
long, even less than a year or well, about her, a year. Uh, us three have been together over a year. A little Frank over. and I, Frank played in the band before. We played together for a year, so now he's been in it two, almost two years. But he oh, had better a break. Yeah, he had he, to have a break. He took his vacation. Yeah. You know, we pulled him from, uh, hey, from LA. They pulled him, right? Yeah, from so Thank now. God. Good for you. Awesome. <laughs> oh, it's great to be back home. Great right. to be back home. There's no place in the world. I'll be right back. All right, so uh, to let someone else. It's okay. Talk. We can totally do this without you because now I can actually well, talk to you guys. Nice. I can okay. actually get Eric, how you doing, bro? Let me tell you about it. Let, let's okay. get it. Oh, let's tell the story about how Eric got in the band. Yeah. I got yeah. in the band. Because he I, bought enough um, merchandise, so <laughs> really? anybody, anybody looking to get an Hessler, just buy some merchandise. He's got like a of cases of fucking t-shirts at the house. Yeah. No, I was saying I, you guys had some really great opening gigs, you know, yeah. over this momentum that you've had over yeah. the last few months. What is, uh, you know, you've had some really great moments on stage or off stage or backstage. I know you guys did a House of Blues gig lately. Yeah. What are some of those best moments? Do you have any, like, something that really well, stands out over the last one? One was the first show that we actually yeah. played together. The first show we played together was at a Bada Brew in Crest Hill at the Ragnarokker Metal Festival. And... We played with Obsession. Mike Becerra from Obsession, who is loudness. probably, a, yeah, Loudness Obsessioning Van Mousy, who is pretty much like the best, one of the best metal singers of all time. He just owns, he's just raw talent and personified. And after the show, we're just chatting with him. The next thing you know, we're going to Denny's with him and his band, and then we're going back kicking up the hotel. Simple of things. Fortune. Yeah, fuck yeah, Soldier of Fortune. Yeah, so. So the that next was thing your you know, first gig. The first yeah, gig, yeah. That was the first we, gig all together. With the, as, came back that was the day this goddamn band was born. Yeah. yeah. Now, as a, as a singer, like, do you have any special moment that stands out for you? Because I'm a singer as well, and I know, I know. you know, you have moments on stage, like individually as a singer, when you're when you're in front of people, or when you're in front of 20 people, or whether it's the venue, or you feel like the excitement, because you know, like your headlining band, the singer's looking at you, and you have a moment. You know, is there anything like that? that really yeah, stands I gotta out for tell you? you that I love the House of Blues show. Even though my friends drove all the way from Crystal Lake, which is like almost two hour drive, they couldn't get in because it was just packed. It was sold it was, out. Then. Yeah, it was fifteen hundred people. Lots of our friends' people. family couldn't and get in. Yeah. See, there was so many people who. They really didn't expect the opening band to be good. Nobody really does. And then once we started, they were like, holy shit, they have a Get the crowd. Get the crowd. Get the crowd. Hold on. And uh, so that was a great response. And um, when people react to your music, that's that's the compensation for your whole work, you know? Right. When you see people go in with their hands up. It makes oh, everything worthwhile yes. at that point. And you feel so good about that. And 1500. Goose pimples with you talking about. Well, she's I'm excited so much for you guys and where you guys are going. Thanks. Thanks. You know what I mean? I, I think that uh, you guys are just going to blow some doors. I said months ago that don't make any plans for next year because I know for sure you guys are going to be on tour with Europe. Yeah. You know, I, I, I know there's a small <laughs> rumor sure. going around right now that you guys might be playing the southeast and in the well, south. No, we're playing uh, in Texas. Texas in March. All right, so Texas festival. is confirmed. Texas Rock Fest. Can you hear that right here in the D-Rock Kingdom? Some other dates. What? 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 Coffee, what? That's rock and roll. Yeah. Nothing better than free food. I feel like I'm the caterer. I should have just wore pajamas, huh? I would love a cup of coffee. My hands are freezing. I grab a muffin or a Danish or some salad. Yeah, yeah. There we go. That's what we're doing. Okay, for some reason we're moving. I don't know if we'll be on the first one. You know, I don't know if we'll be on the first one, but we're in there. <coughs> I can taste the mist. It's pretty cool. Make sure you put your necklace in it. Yeah, right. That's a good point. <coughs> oh. They need to play Jake the Snake Roberts' theme song. Walking through all this mist. X flight. Trust me. Yeah, I think it's smooth. Testing. It's like it's so quiet. I think we're Yeah, the, the, yeah, that's a that's a control tower. Their devil dive. Right at the end, it, it's like a succeed on these numbers. <laughs> Heavy metal roller coaster ride and put your necklaces in your shirt. Well, you got Otherwise, zippers. Otherwise, 
you'll get your zip me in. Yeah, man, you got it. I got. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're Otherwise, you'll get I your my fucking teeth really chipped out. Yeah, I can zip in. So we're getting make ready to sure, go. Make sure your uh, carabiner's hanging. My carabiner? Carabiner, or whatever the fuck it's called. On the far right side, not your dong. That guy. Oh yeah, they're hooked. And then my wallet, I need to close my wallet. Look at that shirt. Available for only $15.99. <laughs> Domestic, $17.99 international. <laughs> www.hesslerchicago.com Of course. It's gotta do the cheap plug. Of course. That was pretty rowdy. We got cameras in the front. What? They do? Oh, and those seats, yeah, they do. <coughs> this is sick because you twist through this thing. Yeah. Did you see that in the video? Yeah. It almost looks like you're going to run like Star Wars or something. Yeah. Plenty of Falcon. Yeah. What did you do last night at 4 in the morning? I'll oh, see. Ah, just ride a roller coaster. Did you put the lights in the back? <laughs> it's a beautiful morning for a roller coaster ride. Sun rising. say no you guys don't remind me of anybody you remind me that's right uh, you remind me of the genre 
you're going to hear this the rest of your life, the Doro Pesh thing. Yeah. And Lita yeah. Ford. The time. There's no Lita Ford. I know, that's what I say. Like your Doro, your change, voice is so I, I Doro. Really? You know, it really is. And you're, I mean, you're really good. Uh, the genre is there for you guys. You know what I mean? You guys are like the whole 80s rock, dueling guitars. And you're, people are going to think right back to Priest and the Maiden, and the dueling guitars and harmonics and, and you know, good vocals, great lyrics. Um, so as far as reminding me of anybody, nobody comes to mind besides Warlock. Besides Doro, and no offense to you, that's no, a major, no, major compliment. It's not an offense at all. You know what I mean? I, I can't even think of a style with you two guys. You know, I would once again go to KK and Glenn. But you guys, Frankie, you, you rip. And, and Iggs, you rip as well. And you guys, you know, with your energy and your excitement and your momentum going on, and Marcus kicks the fucking bass drum like John fucking Bonham. You know what I mean? You know, and so I, I just, I see really great things. Just keep it tight, keep it together, get the fuck along. If you don't get along, make sure you let everybody know. Because you guys can fight all the fuck you want, but do. communication, and you do, and that's why you're still, that's why you'll still be together. Because if you don't fight, then you'll fucking so you break got, up. You yeah. gotta, you gotta keep the communication. Anything, if you're no. screaming at each other, it, you know, it's that's like good. Family, man. Yeah, because you'll be making up. So that's really all that's I got to say. Awesome. Right. I hear that's a guitar shot. Yeah, oh, big city nights. What were we at? I'm on the way to show up I can't remember what's the next word. Girl, I'm made for you, right? Girl, you were made for me. Shut it, shut I was made for loving you, baby. I can't get enough of you, baby. Is someone doing that tonight? Are you guys doing that tonight? Everybody sing! Dream band to tour with, and uh, can everyone answer this question? Oh, I think everyone have it. Yeah. And, and huh. what's your dream venue or country that you want to play in? Because I know you guys are kind of spread out a little bit. So, <laughs> what's your dream band to can band to tour can, with? Does that come on ever Start answer separately? Yeah. Yeah. All right, Snake Boy. Dream band to play with? Probably like Reunited Guns and Roses. I know the odds of that slim to none. But the country, the ideal country, favorite country to play or whatever that uh, we play. I don't care if it's Chicago or Central African Republic. If people want to hear the music and want to get into it, anywhere. Wow, what a great answer. Right. David Boardier in Oslo. <laughs> in Oslo, wow. See, All right, because that'd be a hell of a Five years ago, I would say Rammstein, but now um, I have to go for Motley Crue. Yeah, wow, uh, cool. That's actually, you know, it might be a possibility to hang out with Vegas. Yeah. Yeah, well, right? if, if Aaron picked Demo Borg here, I want Vanilla Ice. No, I'm, just I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. We, we all know it's We all know it's right. Okay, I can't run out of your way. Dude, Vanilla Ice is the man. I don't care who you are. You never put down the Ice Man. I, everybody expects me to say Iron Maiden, but it's mm -hmm. not because I don't think anybody else deserves to open for Iron Maiden. Iron Maiden is Iron Maiden. Yeah. Uh, Judas Priest, I, I love, it's one of my favorite bands. They have twin guitars. Fantastic singer. They'll play super fast songs, you know, like Painkiller, and they'll play something slow like uh, 
I don't know, Beyond the Realms of Death or uh, uh, Dead Wings and Diamonds Destiny. and Rust. Okay, so the song. answer is the choir, yeah, Judas Priest, Judas Priest, and in hope somehow, some way that we'd be fucking good enough that they pass down the torch. Just, just take take around the world. Yeah, though Judas I wish Priest. KK was still. What about you? And see, as much as I thought he was gonna say Iron Maiden, Maiden. So I was gonna say Judas Priest, of course, because. <laughs> Scott Travis, one of my favorite drummers. I'd love to just sit down and shoot the shit with him for as long as I can. All right. All right. Cool. Yeah. So, so yeah. hey, it's 2012. It's January. You guys got a CD out. New it's one. called, uh, what's this? Bad Blood. Bad Blood. Bad Blood. Bad Blood. Bad Blood. Uh, that's available also at Hessler.com. HesslerChicago.com. HesslerChicago.com. iTunes and any other online media. You can find them on Facebook. You can find the Ryan Iggs, Marcus, and Eric, and Frankie Snakes on Facebook as well. And across, Google them all. You can find them real easy. But not and, on uh, Twitter, because we don't know how to use this. Yeah. <laughs> Twitter will come. Okay. And, and that's actually good. That's okay. Yeah. It's, <laughs> that's okay. And last thing, you know, so, so what's the big plans for 2012? Yeah, new material you were talking about, uh, and a little bit of a tour hopefully in the summer, I'm hoping. No, the, the tour's happening now. The short one's happening in March. Just, I guess, <laughs> keep consistent big dates in Chicago and try to, I want to get us overseas. We wanted to get it now, but it's not ready. It's not we need a new album before we do it, and hopefully I'd say sometime in the fall, to be realistic, if we went over and did like a month tour over there. But who knows, a million things could happen between then and uh, or now and then. We're just real positive because everything's been great. Our gigs have been big, consistent, and the crowd, like she said about the House of Blues show, response has been great. After we play the first song and people are cheering, you're like, all right, fuck yeah, we want to. The more the crowd plays, yeah, the more we get into it. We're shooting to uh, to have our new album ready by probably April, I would say. Wow, that's awesome. We'll <laughs> <laughs> that's what we do normally. Well, well, contradictory. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. What? How the hell are we gonna record in April? Well, what cool hey, thing? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Everyone yeah. Really so really awesome yeah. you guys are fighting awesome on shows. video. Right. <laughs> so hey, kick ass. I want Mark. You need we got we it. Got it. <laughs> First bag is due then the world. Well, all right, guys. Well, thank you so much for coming and sitting in with me uh, and getting me started here again in the D-Rock Kingdom. Thank you so much. Good luck. Best of luck to each and every one of you. Once again, I know you guys have the momentum, and I'm, I'm going to see you in the big leagues and in the arenas here for another year, I swear to God. So. so thank you so much. Rock on. You're watching the D-Rock Kingdom, guys. This is Hessler from Chicago. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Hey, here's my Jake the Snakes. It sounds like Jake the Snake's entrance theme. It's gotta be on the phone. Or no, is it coming from the radio? If I ever get married, I'll pay for the whole goddamn thing as long as I can walk down to Jake the Snake's theme. <laughs> Hailing from Stone Mountain, Georgia. <laughs> We're in sweatpants and cowboy boots. Sweatpants and cowboy boots. <laughs> Everyone, please stay on the train, but I need you to unfasten your safety belts, lift up on your harness, but stay on the train. Everybody push down, pull up, unfasten your safety belt. Push down, pull up, safety belt, all harnesses up, stay on the train, please. Awesome. I'm like all, you got vertigo right now. Can we, can we just go back go? in the queue. Oh, really? Yep, go back in the queue. Sweet.
cancer away. <laughs> the whole park to ourselves. We rented the park today. It's pretty cool that there is just nobody here. Hey, can we do one more promo? Like, hey, again, we're from Hessler. Question. We're watching the D-Rock really? Kingdom. Yeah. Hold on. Real quick. <laughs> oh. What happened? That is. Huh? You were saying? I said, I, I, I watch interviews and read them all the time. Really good question. Thank you, man. Especially the one about yeah. the venue and the bands. Thank you so much Everyone's for like, well, you so know, Marcus, you guys are, how much do you weigh? Like, yeah. Hey, Lariah. Um, are you hot? Well, you know, most yeah. another thing too, like everybody's so fucking fixed on you, you know, that know. everybody just wants to talk to you and it's like, you guys, I mean, collectively, all you guys are so excellent. Thank you. You know what I mean? And so I really... I mean, I, I could interview you guys for 30 minutes for straight you. up. Yeah, I mean, I really just want to tighten this up and get something out, you know, to promote you guys while you guys have some momentum. And one, one, two. One sec, one sec. We're so, the Hess X. Oh. There you go. I like that. Uh, introduce all the names. And then after just make it 80s. We'll we'll we're the Hess Express. We're the Hess Express. Hess Express. Yeah. Just say we're the Hess Express. We're the Hess Express. We're, we're the, the Hessler. We're the Hessler and you're watching D-Rock. Yeah, yeah, cool. And you're watching D-Rock. D-Rock Kingdom. Chicago. That's right. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Three, two, one. Hello, I'm Marcus Lee Cox. Dude, that worked out just fine. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Hey, I'm Frankie. What's up, I'm Eric. Laraya. <laughs> I'm Miggs. Marcus. <laughs> We're at One more. One more. We're We're watching the D-Rock Kingdom. King. Oh, yeah. Come on. I'm dude. sorry, I'm ace freeling it. Just one more. <laughs> Nasty Nate's gonna do some sit-ups so it's now that he's a fucking fitness guru. Right? <laughs> he's gonna do the Rob Van Dam lift where he takes the two chairs and does the big There's sling. There's a split in between? Yeah. No, I'm, 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 this is the... No, but let's play. One, two, one, two, three. Take control, man. D Rock, remember D Rock. Okay, shut the fuck up. D Rock, King. Ready? Yeah. Who's going first? Frankie. Yeah, Frankie, you're going first. Hey, All right. Frank, we're not doing. You're not being shot at. Relax, man. Hey, I'm Frankie. I'm Eric. I'm Lariah. I'm Iggs. Marcus. We're Hessler, and you're watching D Rock Kingdom from Chicago. <laughs> nice. Thank you so much, guys. Have Thank a good you, night. Man. That's Thank a wrap. You. We made it. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. I have a training. Oh, music can't continue unless you feed it. Basically meaning people have to, nobody's too cool, nobody should feel that they are too cool to pay for cover. You should support your, the bands you enjoy by buying merch and CDs. We don't make any money off of it. We just need it to be able to consistently entertain, to 
push for bigger things and be able to put out everything that we do because without it, without the fan support, we're... A lot album called the EP is uh, pretty much written and uh, composed by X. Before we all joined the band, everything was already pre-written. That's we, why that's why we want to show more of us, the new album, uh, that's going to show everybody, everybody's inspiration. Everybody is inspired by something else, somebody else. The, the songs that are on the Bad Blood EP, the mentality was for them to be played live. You know, I don't care if everybody likes listening to it. It's, I just want them to get a perspective of it so when they come live, they can react to it. And the fact that they can react to it harder or more, get more into it live than they do on the CD, means that it's that powerful.
uh, with this lineup as this is. incarnation? Since, uh, let's just go with uh, June 19th, 2011. That blood and we're, uh, most of the songs we played tonight are, you know, we were basically road testing them for our new album.
Say your last name. Grosdanova. 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 Yeah. Maria, Marina. Marina. Grosdan. Grosdanova. Grosdanova. Yeah. I'll probably make a joke about that. I'm doing it. And uh, how do you say? Uh, el jinete. El jinete. Yeah. It's it's like an H. El jinete. El jinete. El jinete. El jinete. El jinete. Folks, how are you doing? D here, as I am joined with the wonderful and beautiful documentary filmmaker, Biliana Gr Grosdanova. Grosdanova. <laughs> her and her sister Marina are actually uh, doing a documentary film about the uh, amazing new rock and roll band that you're going to be hearing about, Hessler, right here from Chicago. Uh, I just want to take a couple minutes and give her some pride because uh, if you didn't know if you're as you start probably researching Hessler online and looking them up you're gonna find out about the last kamikazes and uh, this is who is behind it uh, Biliana and her sister Marina once again and what they're doing is they're basically been following Hessler around kinda like me for the last year and uh, they're turning that into a, a major documentary film hopefully to be released uh, sometime in 2013 some of the independent film festivals and stuff and it's something you want to look out for I'm here with Biliana how are you doing? Thank you for the great introduction. Welcome to the D-Rock Kingdom. Thank you very much. I want to correct myself it's the last kamikazes of heavy metal 
So the last Comic Con season of Heavy Metal and the beautiful woman uh, behind that, super creative, driven individual, a nice young lady, once again, the lovely Biliana, here on the D-Rock Kingdom. Hopefully I'll be able to slice that in. You guys have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyway. It's filmmaking, baby. Billy G is what I call her, and the G sisters is what I secretly call them. But uh, Biliana, welcome to the D-Rock Kingdom. Tell me a little bit about how you got started with this documentary and actually how you met Hessler and everything. Thank you for having me. Oh, we have actually, the beautiful... Oh, we have... Uh, beautiful. <laughs> we have the lovely Lariah popping in there. Thank you. It's fun that we're actually going to be a, a trio of women on the road. That is um, pretty cool. It's uh, very female-driven, this whole thing that's going on. It's, it's got to be, you know. It's, uh, it's kind of tough in this, uh, especially in, in rock and roll. I mean, I don't want to go off stereotypes and stuff, but when you're a female in rock and roll, it's still hard, no matter what side of, um... The camera you're on? Exactly, or whether you're on or off stage, you know, there's well, certain... it's because we have so much testosterone going on, there's and on the male thing, the long hair, the viking, yeah. woman at home make food! So we're, uh, we're just two girls joining a girl-fronted uh, band. And the name of your film company? Uh, El Jinete Films. El Jinete Films. Also, you should look that up and like that page on Facebook. And once again, keep an eye out for them. Go ahead. Founded this year. Yeah, very and, nice. Uh, you and your sister, basically, yes, pretty uh, much. We're a, a two-woman team so far. Awesome. And uh, El Jinete pretty much represents our our spirit. It's a, In Spanish, it means... Uh, the horseman, the rider. Oh, uh, wow, really cool. Wow, we awesome. We have very strong, uh, a very strong bond with Spain, Spanish culture, and we decided to call it El Jinete, you know, represent our free spirit. All right, and so that's kind of like the production of, of who's doing this documentary, you and your sister, El Jinete Films. I, exactly. I understand you actually went to school in Spain, is that correct? I did. I went to film school in, in Madrid and wow. spent a total of seven years there, traveling all over the country. Wow, how very interesting and cultured of you. And uh, yeah, El Jinete is, it's, it's one, it's one Jinete, and that pretty much also represents the bond that my sister and I have always shared, where, you know, we couldn't be anywhere without each other, so awesome. it's one Jinete, two women. All right, so let's talk about a little bit about the, the, the whole thing about the documentary. You, you, met, Hess, you met Hessler, actually, earlier this year. Uh, really, we're just uh, amazed, like we all are, about them. They're just yeah. really on this roller coaster to the top right now. Yeah. A lot of a lot of hype going on around them. Just released their new record, comes with the territory, and you're actually kind of a part of this whole thing that they're doing too. Kind of like this inner circle. So, tell us a little bit about how you met Hustler, and actually, you know, what actually influenced you to? Well, I think we should really document this because it's kind of a little bit what I do. Yeah. But I want to hear from you. Like, how, how did this whole inspiration come together for you? It's uh, it's funny. I mean, we actually met at the end of um. Uh, 2011, uh, met Iggs and Frank at a party actually. Oh wow! Um, but our first Hessler, go figure. <laughs> but um, our first Hessler show was at the House of Blues last December. That venue just inspires great shows. But I mean, aside from that, they, I mean, they're pretty mesmerizing live. You know, the record, Very true. the new record is amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a huge fan of the first one. But their live performance is what really um, sets them apart from from other bands out there and makes them unique on the scene. And um, we clicked as as passionate individuals on both ends, them in music, us in, in film, and right. in music as well. I mean, we right. just never, I mean, never made it as, together, as yeah. rock stars with my sister. That's why we're like, hey, we're going to tell some stories well, about rock stars. Well, you're still pretty stars. young there, sister. Hey, so, well, you know. You know, you got a long way to go, a long, uh, a long rise to the top as well. I just Thanks. have a great appreciation. Uh, I love your driven uh, attitude and your passion uh, for what you do. And uh, I, I, my, just my hat's off to you. I think your project is brilliant. And I, I have no doubt that we're going to be hearing about it for years to come as we go along down the road. And it's uh, really my hat's off to you, Biliana, and your sister Marina. I know you're, you're probably going to be watching this too as well. And my hat's off to her as well. And uh, man. And, th and it means a lot coming from you, given your history and the, you know, uh, documenting of, of live rock and roll on the scene. And, yeah. you know. Um, well, thank you. So it, it's, it, you know, it means a lot. All right. Cool. I know there's something else in here that I want to talk to Billy on about. I'm trying to think of what that might be. You know, I'm 25 years old now. I turned 26 in August. And being a rock star, you know, an astronaut or anything else to your average person, it's like a joke. To me, it's not because I work really hard for it and it's what I love doing the most. The clock is ticking and I really need to to step it up. Right now, all the components and all the pieces are there. Let's just go gung-ho and 
you know, become, try and become a huge band and hopefully make a lot of money. Who knows? We'll see. Only time will tell. Five of us have only played by the end of the store maybe 40 or 45 shows together. George Young, the older brother of Angus and Malcolm from ACDC, who kind of helped guide their music career, he said, you know, no band should consider themselves a band until they've played at least 200 shows together. You know, I'm in this band first and foremost because I love the people in the band and we uh, produce something that I think is great. Hessler is the first time I've ever really had confidence in and um, playing professionally. I sacrificed my family, my friends, I left everybody in Poland. We would spell disaster for the entire band, and I hope that never happens. Nobody wants to be in a band where you're under that, that constant dark cloud. I don't want to be in a band unless they're, you know, my friends. I made this band. I own this band. This band is my idea. It always has been and it always will be. I decide who stays. I decide who goes. I can do it like this. It's us, it's fight, it's five, it's, it's put together, not just that one. I'm just a higher gun. Uh, Marcus is no longer with us. We're still in like some early developing stages. My place right now is that I'm gonna sub for the tour. That's why working for anybody else but yourself is almost a mindless existence. It's the end of uh, December, lovely Biliana going out on tour with Hessler of the Southwest. Um, starting out in St. Louis all the way to LA, same playing the Viper Room and many places in between. I have no doubt Hessler will be on tour forever. Hopefully. <laughs> Infinity. Um, once again, Biliana, it was just a pleasure to, to get you a couple minutes on the show. Thank you so much for being with us. And uh, everybody out there, look out. For the last Kamikaze is a heavy metal. It's going to be something that's going to rock your socks off. It's going to give you a really inside look at the band on tour, behind the scenes, some of the making of the record, some of the videos. We're actually on video shoot today for the song. Who You Run To, we're actually on set right now. They're shooting the video right behind us. And I just want to pull Billy on over here, give her a little props here on the D-Rock game as we welcome her with open arms. Thank you so much, Billy on. Thank you, Danny. You're very welcome, young lady. It's been it's great a, meeting you. Yeah, and we look forward to uh, working together. Hopefully, Billy will be and me will be uh, teaming up on some things, and we'll put something really cool together in the Absolutely. springtime. So Keep look out for that as well. Yeah. Thank you, guys. All right, you're watching the D Rock Kingdom. Beautiful Billy with Les Jeanette Films. Say it again. El Jeanette. El Jeanette Films. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Check these guys out. I'll see you later on the D Rock Kingdom. Thank you. Thank you. Did I do okay? Fantastic. Okay. Whoo! Were you nervous? It's exhilarating when you're out there. Yeah, I'm telling you. Kind of Hot lights and everything? Uh, Jeez. Yeah. <laughs>
to bring some mood back a little bit. What's up, y'all? High five!
actress.
Yeah, dude, the Mercedes looks like we're gonna be like running from Colombian drug lords. <laughs> no, we're going. All right, so me and Iggs just finished up at Six Flags, checked out X Flight. It's yes. awesome. It's pretty cool. We were really the first group of people. There's only about 50 people in there that we got to hang out with. So, uh, Egg, just want to thank you, Eggs. Great hey. to spend the morning. It's likewise. It's it uh, like seven in the morning now. We've been here all night for hours. We've we haven't all slept because we're vampires. No sleep because that's sun's coming out. So we got to run because Blade can stay out in this. That's right. Can. That's the rock and roll thing to do. So thanks for watching the D Rock Kingdom, man. Thanks for hanging out with Hessler. Thank, thank you bang. so much, Is. No problem, man. Have a good morning. Thank Let's you. get home, brother. Right. Peace. Stay warm. Let's go.